Okay, what's up YouTube? This is J-Man Time. Today on Abandoned Warships, we'll be talking about the Russian Monitor Strelitz. Strelitz was a Russian Monitor from the Tsar Russian era. And the Strelitz was one of the many Uragon class ironclad monitors built between the years 1863 and 1866. The Strelitz was a, Euro a Uragon class monitor with a displacement of between 1,500 and 1,600 tons. The ship had a length of 201 feet. And the ship was propelled by one shaft and two cylinder direct acting steam turbines with a maximum speed of 6 knots or 11 kilometers per hour or 6.9 miles per hour. The ship's main armament was two 9 inch 229 millimeter smoothbore guns, which were later upgraded to two 15 inch 381 millimeter smoothbore guns in the 1860s. The Strelitz's main armor thickness was 5 inches or 127 millimeters, and she had a crew of between 96 and 110 sailors. The Strelitz served the Imperial Russian Navy from 1865 to July the 6th, 1900. In 1900, the Strelitz was decommissioned as a coastal defense ship and she was later converted into a floating workshop in the same year. The Strelitz served as a floating workshop from 1901 until around 1955-1957. In 1957, the ship was finally decommissioned for the last time. The Strelitz is pretty much the last of the Russian monitor fleet. She is the only ironclad ship remaining from the old Tsar Russian era. Today, the Strelitz sits in the St. Petersburg Harbor alongside or right across from the old Russian armored cruiser Aurora. You, remain, you may remember Aurora as a Russian uh, protected cruiser that was used during the October War of 1917. She, was all, she also served in World War I and the Russo-Japanese War. Both historic ships are sitting in the same era but the uh, but the Strelitz unfortunately is pretty badly deteriorating as I speak. The ship hasn't been uh, refurbished, unlike the Aurora. In 2015, the Russian Navy and a few other um, historical boat contractors they have have planned or had put plans forward to restore the Strelitz. But as of 2018, the ship is still sitting in its modified state. Now, the ship is sitting, uh, when the ship was converted to a floating workshop in 1901, the, the construction workers added an additional hull over the original hull. Only the lower end of the street lids is actually showing, of the original hull. The hull you'll see in the photographs is a new superstructure or a new um, upper portion of the ship that was added in 1901 and um, added to between the 1930s and 40s during the time that Strelitz served as a floating workshop. Now, I don't know if her original revolving turret is still preserved within the hull, but it most likely isn't. Uh, if you were to ask me, I would say the Strelitz needs to be preserved. The Strelitz, along with several other iron class worldwide, are the last of their kind, and the Strelitz as a whole is the last of the Russian monitors, the original Russian monitors, monitor type warships of the 1860s and 70s. So, what do you all think of this ship? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was J Man Time signing off.